Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan. If you haven't met me yet, hello, nice to meet you. I'll give you a little virtual handshake. If you're coming back to the channel, thanks so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. Whether or not you do support me or whether or not you don't, because I know there's a lot of both. Um, but today's video, I, I've been wanting to make this for a while. Um, I was debating whether or not I should do a Q&A, whether or not I should um, do a live Q&A, let you guys ask me questions. I have had a lot of questions and I just wanted to share my story. So if you guys haven't heard, I just launched this giveaway that I'm doing to give away a car and I've got a lot of different questions that people have asked me. Just running this channel, the Rideshare Hub, what it really is, um, a lot of people thinking that I don't drive, um, my Tesla. <laughs> um, there, there's just so many questions on basically my store are just questions about me a lot of rumors going on and I just wanted to address them and then also just sit down and tell you my story I just wanted to be real with you guys um, I think that's one thing that does separate me it, um, well I know a lot of other youtubers are pretty truthful as well but I just want to get it out all, all on the table Actually, I do think one thing that does separate me is that I try to bring the story into it and really share the why behind Rideshare because a lot of things I'll say is like, you know, you shouldn't drive Rideshare full time. I don't drive full time. Um, and yeah, there's just a lot and I just wanted to share it all with you. So I'm going to take my jacket off because now I'm sweating. Um, but. Yeah, also one of you guys did men notice that this is a designer. <laughs> I'm actually allergic to uh, polyester, so I, this is cashmere. Um, very, very fancy stuff. If any of you guys can guess how much this costed, well, maybe I'll give you a prize. Okay, so um, how do I get started? I just, I guess I'll just share my story about how I started driving a rideshare and then also just answer some questions about me and also this channel. I, for one, hate spending money, so I refuse to go to Starbucks or a cafe and I always make my own coffee. Um, unless I'm like at a meeting or something, but, and I have to. Let's rewind a little bit. The reason why I started driving for rideshare was because I was doing financially really bad. Um, I had two credit cards, I had a car payment, and student loans. You know, I'm going to college. I'm, I still am in college, by the way, guys. Uh, almost done, though. Undergraduate, <laughs> bachelor's, whatever you want to call it. And um, I was pursuing acting, actually. I was trying to become an actor, which currently, I'm, that does not I'm not doing that right now, but I, I was for a little bit, I guess. Yeah, I was, I guess you could say that. I was more so doing it for fun and kind of exploring the arts. I do, I've tried out so many different things, guys. Uh, I know a lot of you guys probably who drive rideshare the same way. I tried to be a photographer. I tried to be a videographer. I used to shoot video and music, or video and photo at music festivals, nightclubs, day clubs pool parties, you name it, I was shooting it. Um, I was doing bikini modeling, or not not modeling, I was shooting photos of bikini models. <laughs> like, I was doing fashion, or shooting photography for fashion, then I started my own clothing fashion company, um, stopped doing photography, kind of did that, then got into modeling myself, well, maybe not modeling, more acting and like print, print, print photos. Um, and trying to get into television acting, although I would, it didn't really give it a good shot. Um, I only tried for maybe a year or so, which is nothing. If you're an actor, like you need to try for years and years and years. I just couldn't handle it. It's, it's really, really difficult. Um, I, at the time it was like mentally exhausting to be an actor and what happened was I, so I was trying to be an actor and when you're trying to be an actor, you need if even to get a manager or an agent, you either have to be ridiculously good looking, which, you know, I'm not, <laughs> um, you, or you need to be really, really talented. And so I was like, well, I'll go, I'll kind of go in between. 
or okay, there's a, there's a couple ways to get in. You either book, get do a bunch of short TV, short films, and get in that way, and you know get some experience, or you get into commercials, um, or you kind of fund your own film, which costs a lot of money. So I was trying to go the commercial route. So what I did was I paid a lot of money to get my demo reel going, which is basically me acting in scenes. So I paid some company, not too much money, but you know, a decent amount, I think it was like a thousand dollars, to get two scenes of me acting in a scene. Really well produced, looks like it was in a TV show. You know, other good actors, my friends too. And then I also got headshots. So that's another like three, four hundred bucks right there. Um, and I'm going to class every single week, every single day, almost. Very famous studio in Los Angeles I was going to at the time, which wasn't actually too expensive, but I, so I was doing that and I had, and I wasn't making very much money. I think I was working at like Nike or something, or a school. I, I forget what I was doing at the time. This was like a, two years ago now. And, um, maybe a year ago. And I, yeah, it was around a year ago now, because my first video on this channel was about a year ago, but I'll get, in, get into that in a second. So, I, um, so I had built up these credit, the credit card debt to pay for, for living and for me partying. I was going out a lot, and I was also spending money on this demo reel thing, acting headshots, acting classes these things were adding up a lot get going gas money to get to auditions stuff like that um i ended up getting a really good manager really good agent um uh, was going out to decent auditions um but i just i just wasn't i just didn't have the experience and i also didn't have money to support this lifestyle um what most actors do is they work in restaurants at night or they're like bartenders, and then they go to auditions during the day, because auditioning is like any time of the day. They could call you a couple hours before, usually they call you like the day before, and they say, hey, can you come in at 2 p.m.? And if you're working like at a nine to five, you, you just would say no. But if you're working at a restaurant, you're like scrambling, trying to get somebody to cover your shift, whatever. So I, I basically had a chain. I, I basically decided, you know what, look, um, no, I was doing it at the same time. I decided, you know what, I'm going to start driving for Lyft so I can pay for it. I can fund my acting stuff and then also get rid of these credit cards. So I first signed up for Lyft. That was the first thing I ever did. I got a sign-on bonus. It's like a $1,200 sign-on bonus um, or something like that for like 250 rides. Um, and then I... So I, I worked at my normal job and then drove for Lyft every single day after school and, or I worked out of school. So I worked for Lyft before school, before work, and then after work, and then at Nike or whatever. And then, um, and then, I, and then after that I started making, after I did that, I was just driving. I was so tired, so exhausted going to these auditions. Sometimes just like super tired going to work just like really tired. I was work, putting in like 50, 60 hours a week um, for both. I, pro I think the most I ever driven with Lyft was like 35 hours or something. Um, now I drive very part time guys and I'm gonna get into that soon. Um, but in the past, so in the past, so yeah, when I was first starting out, I would I would drive a lot, right? And then um, I started making videos about it, I think. No, I started making video. I was, I had my own personal YouTube channel, my comedy channel. And I was, I make videos and then I made a podcast. I was make, uploading tons of different videos. And then I made another channel. And this channel, right now that you're watching The Right Check Up, it used to be called Make Money Fast. And if you go back to my old videos, you'll see me. I would upload videos of me talking about how to make money with Robinhood, how to make money building websites, because I had always, you know, I used to have a company building websites for people and running their social media accounts. Um, so I have a lot of weird different experience. So, and I did acting, so I did. I made, I made a video called how to make money 
being a background actor, how to do, um, how to make money searching with Bing, which is actually a thing. I made a bunch of different videos just on making money in general, and then I decided, hey, you know what, I am doing Lyft. Let me do that. Let me try to make a video on that. And I had my sister, which she might be in one of my next videos because um, I think she is starting a YouTube channel, so I might shout her out. But I had my sister, I, I said, hey, can you film, can you film me talking about Lyft, this Lyft thing? And I didn't watch any of anybody else's videos. I mean, no, no, I did. When I first started out, I used to watch. What am I saying? No, I used to watch this one guy. Shout out to Mark for Caro. He, he, I think he actually inspired me to make videos. The first one, his video, he, he had like one video with like a million views called like Seven Tips for Drivers or something. I've watched most of his, almost all of his videos when I was driving, and it helped me so much. I was like, um. So I made it for the channel, make the Make Money Fast channel, which is the channel you're now watching that turned into the Rideshare Hub, and I was like, oh, you know what? Let me talk about Lyft. I had no idea what I was talking about. I think I made one video called my my Lyft car tour. One of them was uh, how, to, how long it took me to make a thousand dollars driving with Lyft. And then one of them was 10 things you need as a Lyft driver. And then the fourth one was Lyft Q&A for new drivers. The third one that I made, the 10 things you need as a Lyft driver, that video got like a thousand views. Keep in mind, I had like three subscribers, maybe, I don't know, a hundred, I don't know. I think yeah, I had very little subscribers. And I made that video, got like a thousand views. I was like, I was like, holy crap. Like, like I actually have people commenting on my videos, like what the heck is this? So then I, then I made another video, like a follow-up video. And then, and then I don't know what happened. I took a break from it for some reason. <laughs> oh no, I, I started school. Um, it was, that was during the summer. All of this, all of that was in the summer. Then I started school and I was like, ah, you know what? I'm just going to party, go, you know, basically forget about driving rideshare, all that stuff. Um, and then it had been, and I'm going to focus like, I basically focus on school and then on partying on my social life, <laughs> um, which I kind of regret the partying part of it. It was fun. I did meet a lot of cool people, but um, yeah, not very productive. Partying is not not very productive unless you're like David Dobrik and you're filming parties. Then it's fun. Well, party parties are fine, but because um, friends are cool. But yeah, basically it was like kind of mostly a waste of time for me. And then all of a sudden I was like, I think that video I made had like 10,000 views, the 10 things. And I was like, you know what, let me make a new video about this, about this lift, about lift thing. So I started making videos again. And, um, and then I started, uh, and then I started doing, make this channel. I was like, you know what, let me change the name of this channel to the Rideshare Hub. And I started making these videos and um, I had like 300 subscribers and I had my roommate film a video of me called 40 Secrets Most Lift Drivers Don't Know, if you haven't heard of that. That video now has over 100,000 views. Him and I just went out on campus and filmed that in like 30 minutes. Literally just wrote down 40 secrets. Um, well, I, I think I was thinking of the secrets for like a week or so, a couple weeks maybe. But we just filmed it out really quick, didn't think of any, anything of it. And then all of a sudden, like, I start getting traffic on my channel. Like, I think I got... We, I was like, you know what, let's just start pumping out these videos. So, so I, from there on out, I started doing one video per day. Changed the channel to the Rideshare Hub. Got a thousand subscribers. And, um... Oh yeah, and in the meantime, I started you know, doing Lyft and Uber again. Well, I signed up for Uber. I don't remember when I did sign up for Uber. I don't know, I signed up for Uber short after, you know, the whole Lyft thing and I stopped and whatever. Then I signed up again, just doing rides here and there to keep up with the knowledge and stuff. Um, so when I talk about like, you know, I'm no expert, like I'm not an expert guys. I drive part time as a way to supplement my income and mostly to be informed about this channel because this the Rideshare Hub has turned into something way bigger than I ever thought 
and you know I do need to stay informed and I am launching soon a, a series on my channel um, I don't know what I'm gonna name it yet but I'm gonna if you have any unique names let me know but basically I'm gonna go through each app I might steal my friend's series she calls is it worth it <laughs> is it worth it series but I, I'm gonna drive for each app you know I've already done Uber and Lyft but I'm gonna do a week of like a week of just Lyft maybe full-time try to maybe not full-time maybe part-time <laughs> a week of Uber week of DoorDash week of Postmates Uber Eats Grubhub Instacart I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to find 10 of them go through each of them and see how much money I, I make I think that will be an interesting series to run on this channel in the past like month or two month or so I've started doing these news articles and that's that's pretty interesting but you know um, want to spice things up a little bit so let me know what you guys think and if you have any name suggestions for that but yeah that's basically my story um, I'm not a full-time driver I I work um, I work at other jobs I'm not gonna get into the specific I'm not gonna get into the names of that but I do work at another company um, and I've always I always have had uber and Lyft as a supplemental income and I have never real well yeah I've never relied on it for income I've only used it to pay off debts and to like fund other projects that I'm working on um, but I've never been at the point where well I guess when I first started I was really really bad I did really need the money if I didn't have a lift I don't know what I would have done so yeah I guess I that back then but I was also working two other jobs at the same time so I, w I have never only done Uber and Lyft for income um, nor do I really recommend I I think it I think that's fine if it's a temporary thing like six months or like a year um, but anything longer than that like I probably wouldn't recommend doing Uber or Lyft full-time uh, long-term I always recommend like diversifying your income find like do something else and then drive for Uber and Lyft on the side to increase your income like if you're making 50 or 60k a year or 80k whatever drive Uber and Lyft on the weekends and you know throughout the year you could probably add up another 10 or 20 now all of a sudden you're making 100 grand a year stuff like that so that's kind of the mentality that I've always seen it as a good way to make extra money that's why like when these huge rate cuts and everything happen it doesn't necessarily affect me personally that much because again I don't rely on it for extra income or for for uh, full-time income just extra so like yeah, it's maybe lowering like a thousand dollars a year for me, like which is not that much per year on a yearly basis. But I know I know a lot of you guys do it full time, and I do have people on this channel who do do it full time, so I do understand. Like, oh yeah, and then also the people on the channel, they're great as well. Like, I want to make this the hub as as a place where like just a bunch of people are posting on this channel so if, if you're a driver and you want to make a video on this channel I'm down like shoot me an email the link is in the or my emails in the bottom of the description I want I basically wanted to hear your like yeah I started doing these interviews with drivers which didn't do traffic wise so well I might start doing them again but or maybe do a podcast for that just get stories out so if you have a you know even if it's not like interesting by any means like it really helps to share other people's perspective like one of my last videos I had crystal she's another creator on this channel her video is called why I quit my job to drive for uber and a lot of people were saying oh no you can't do that you can't do that I was like well or they're like oh no you can't uh, promote that advice on this channel I'm like well like that's just another person's perspective and sure it might not work for you but another person might be in her same position and think wow thank you I you know this is great I have another person to connect with because I'm not in that position but if I can bring somebody else on you know we have Jacob we have Chris Steph on the pedal um, 
Crystal, who else? Um, what's his name? <laughs> Greg, Greg. We have, we have like a few guys right now. A few, few guys and girls, which is awesome. So, yeah, honestly, that's it. Um, I'm almost done with my iced coffee, which is pretty fitting because we're almost done with, well, we're pretty much done with the video now. If you want, let's do a Q&A. If you have any questions down below, leave your questions in the description, in the comment section, and I will film a Q&A um, answering your specific questions. I know today was just more of a background um, because I know since that giveaway, a lot of new people have come to the channel. I just want to introduce myself more fully so that way in the future you kind of get a better understanding of where I'm coming from. So that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate your viewership and you sticking around and commenting and giving my videos a thumbs up. It's really cool at this point that I can be there. So thank you all again for watching and you guys are awesome. I will talk to y'all soon. All right, bye guys.